Hey you guys, so as you see by the title in this video, I'm supposed to be giving you tips to help you deal with your anxiety or help someone that you know that has anxiety. These are just tips that I know from personal experience that will definitely help you and help you in general. So just stay tuned. So y'all, this isn't in any particular order. I have my book in front of me and um, yeah, so number one is to talk to someone. So me personally, I talk to my sister and I talk to my mom. Whenever I'm having an anxiety attack, you know, it literally feels like the world is crashing down on me and everything is just like the world is ending basically but yeah talking to someone outside of yourself in general helps a ton if you don't have a good support system there are amazing hotlines that you can call for um dealing with anxiety and you can talk to somebody on the phone or if you're not comfortable you actually can text them so i'm going to leave the links for that down below um because that really helps or you could talk to a therapist of course so the next tip is something that will actually help right now due to the fact that we're quarantined and this whole virus is going on next tip is to do something that you like so that could be drawing that could be um reading a book watching your favorite tv show something to use as a distraction so you kind of get out of your own head me for example i know when i'm having when i know that i'm on the verge is because i've literally been just thinking about everything it's like a million thoughts in my head so what I do to try to prevent that, I'll do something to try to make a, a distraction. So I'll read a book or I'll um, watch a movie with my family. Stuff like that, that definitely helps for sure. Especially during this, um, the pandemic that's going on. Um, stay off of the news. Like, yeah, you need news. You need the news to kind of give you the information on what's going on. But you can kind of become obsessive over it. Just try to do something to distract yourself so you're not in your own head and getting in your own way. Tip number three is write. So as y'all can see, I have my thoughtful journal. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it says thoughtful journal. My mother got this for me. And so every day it basically asks me like um, the week, the date of the week that I'm doing, right? And then it says like this week I want to do this, this and this. This week I want to work on this, this and this. And then it says like weekly, um weekly aspirations things that you want to get done throughout the week you list them down what is something that happened really good to you this week what is something that happened really bad to you this week um and what's something you want to do different all the stuff that you're thinking about not even the journal that i have in particular but just if you're writing in general in your diary or whatever your journal just getting all of those thoughts that are going a mile a minute in your head put it on paper to like get it out of your head like if you understand what i'm saying like um just write it down. So like, when, cause if you don't write the stuff down that you're going through or that you worried about, it just stays in there and it just keeps going around and around. And next thing you know, you're having an anxiety attack again. So that helps a ton. And I just write down whatever's bothering me. I think about, is it something I could do to change it? If it's out of my control, why am I stressing over it? You know what I mean? And you have to talk to yourself like, and talk out loud, okay? So yeah. <laughs> I believe in God. I'm a Christian, so I will pray to God that whatever is going on, I just pray. I pray out loud, and it kind of makes me feel a lot better because, you know, I know that God has me, and I'm protected, and no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So that's what I do. But whoever, whatever your religion is and whatever you believe in, you do that because that definitely will help you a ton. And if you don't believe in a higher power, that's fine. You can do these other tips as well to help you, but I know for a fact that's a main important part for me is to pray and as God to protect me. <laughs> so yeah. So number six is talking out loud. I said that in a previous tip. Whatever's going on, talk out loud. Don't think that you're crazy. Don't think like, oh my God, I'm talking to myself. Because you are and it's good to talk to yourself sometimes. And people might find that weird, but it works. Like if I'm having an anxiety attack, literally say, you're breathing. You hear yourself breathing. You're fine. You're walking so that I'm okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, it might seem weird at first if you don't do stuff like that, but that helps me a lot when I'm having a panic attack. The next one is breathing exercises. So take deep breaths, you know, breathe in, breathe out slow. Um, I know you guys probably heard of the process of blowing on your thumb. My sister actually told me that. So you take your thumb and you breathe in and you blow on it like this. Like, I want to look silly, but <laughs> it works. Okay, so you... And literally doing that when you're having an anxiety attack is like so helpful. You might have to do it a couple of times because of course nothing works on the first time. But it's like the feeling that you can feel your breath on you. 
to let you know that you're breathing and your heart is still beating, if you get what I'm saying. My sister, when she talks to me, she like, when she helps me with my breathing, she tells me like, breathe in, breathe out really slow, slow fill your belly up with the air, let out all that bad energy, you're okay, like stuff like that. So breathing exercises are a big one. You definitely could Google that um, to help you. Seven is count to 10. So by saying that, my doctor actually told me, um, not my therapist, but my actually my actual doctor. She told me like breathe in really deep. So like the breathing exercises I was talking about. And she said, look at something that's not moving. So it could be a tree, a window, something like that, and just count to ten. And it might sound like really, really cliche, but it works. Like it really does. If you just so happen to be outside, just look at a tree, look at a flower, something that's stationary and count to ten. Count out loud, whatever you can do, that will definitely help because it kind of brings you back into reality and brings you like I'm here right now. You get what I'm saying? I hope I hope I'm making sense. Guys, I'm breathing really hard because it's hot in my room and my fan isn't on right now because it's gonna make too much noise. So whew, I'm hot <laughs> and I'm trying to get through this video. Number eight is to meditate. So this helps a ton, you guys. I, everything that I'm listing on this thing helps you a bunch. Meditation is the biggest one because literally you you haven't, you kind of have your panic attack because of what's going on in your mind. So if your mind tells you something is wrong, something is wrong. So what you do, you do a breathing exercise to calm yourself down, slow your heart rate down. Once your heart rate gets back to normal, then just close your eyes, breathe in deep and imagine your safe place. So for example, my safe place is for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, my safe place is a dark room with a soft carpet, a fireplace, and a bunch of bookshelves because I love books so a bunch of bookshelves and um that's about it and candles everywhere it's like very like homey a homey type feel with a nice leather couch or something behind me so what I do when I'm having a really bad anxiety attack I envision myself in my safe place and um, I envision a closet and in the closet is a box so all of the thoughts that are making me panic I envision them into items them that I'm putting into the box. So I put all of the bad thoughts that I'm having and everything that's worrying me, just put in the box. I take the box up, I push it in the closet that's in my safe place, lock the door, and I throw my key into the fireplace. And it sounds crazy, but it literally helps you stop overthinking. Like, cause it's like all of those, it's not, it's not in your head anymore. Basically what I'm saying, like everything you was just thinking about is not long, it's no longer in your head. And it's no longer bothering. I learned how to meditate don't, using a YouTube video, honestly. So that's not the only way you can do it. It's plenty of other ways. So definitely look that up. But that's a big one for me. And I always, whenever that happens, I always do that. And that always helps. ASMR um, slash listening to nature, I guess you could say. I don't really know how to explain it. So what I mean by that is, so you all probably know what ASMR is. If you don't, um... There's plenty of YouTube videos of YouTube that people do it and explain it. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into it. So I will listen to AS ASMR um, as I'm going to sleep if I feel like I'm worried about something and that will help me sleep through the night. I'm listening to nature. I actually will look on YouTube and look up videos like um, the sound of waves or the sound of a thunderstorm, the sound of rain. I love rain. I feel comfort whenever it rains. So I'll look up like a thunderstorm to... um help me sleep basically and listen to that and it actually will calm you down because it's like so relaxing so whatever you listen to that kind of helps you feel calm because it's, it's videos that you listen to of like birds chirping and waves and just nature the wind blowing stuff like that helps so freaking much like i love listening to that and asmr as well like they do the little tapping thing like y'all know what i'm talking about like but if you don't just look it up on youtube so finally number 10 is exercising and fresh air so some people don't like to exercise but exercising is actually really good for you if you can exercise do what you can you don't have to go od and go like doing hit and doing high intensity workouts you can go jogging you can go running you can just stretch do something physical to feel your body if you understand what I'm saying exercising makes me feel good so and I get my heart rate up but my logic is if I can work out right now and bring my heart rate up I'll be fine when I'm having a panic attack and I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack because my heart is racing for me 
just in my own heat. So that helps a lot. And then another thing is just getting fresh air. So just go for a walk. If you don't like exercising, go outside, get some fresh air. Don't sit in the house because the stuff is going on. You can't really go to a park. You can't really do too much. Stand on your front porch, go walk around in your backyard. Um, just open your window, get some fresh air. So y'all, those are all of the tips that help me with my anxiety. If you guys have never tried any of these, I hope you tried them because they definitely work for me. I will leave everything in the description box for the um, anxiety hotlines. I love you guys so much. Stay safe, get out of your own head and breathe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all.